So now we're on punch cover punching number 10. So we are going to be incorporating a finger gouge or an eye gouge on this one instead of a finger rake. Now with this one, it's very important that you're watching your distance judgment, your timing, and you're also watching for the safety of your opponent or your partner. So what we're doing is we're starting off with two punches. On the first punch, when he throws that punch, all I'm doing is stepping back, okay? And I'm covering. Now I wanna make sure that I do this to make him come to me. So when we're doing that again, I'm stepping back. When he comes on that next one, I'm just getting my head off mine. I'm covering with this hand and I'm making sure that those fingers are right in the eyes. From this position, I'm going to slide this hand right up the line of the shoulder and the arm, and I'm just throwing palm strike to the jawline. From here, I want you to lower yourself for that Hail Mary punch, because just in case it comes in, we don't want to get knocked out. So we've got to lower our body, and we still have to disengage. And you can see I'm using an elbow, I'm using my hand, and we're working on this disengage here, but you have to lower to do that. If you stay high, you are going to get hit in the head. So on the other side, you can see this I'm stepping back, and it's a quick cover. And you see how he'll move in, and right there, his eyes just go right to my hand. My hand goes right to his eyes. It's palm and drop, and then hands are up. So from this position at speed, it looks just like this. Hands are up, and that is punch cover punching number 10. Thank you very much.